Well, we all know that the welding process generates smoke and fume, and the characteristics of the smoke and fume vary in toxicity and the amount of fume generation based upon three variables. Number one, uh, the type of welding process. Uh, Number two, the base metal and filler metals used. And thirdly, the composition of the welding rod. Of all the fumes generated in welding, about 85 to 95% comes from the welding wire. And since the particles are thermally generated, the particles are very small, ranging in size from 0.1 up to about 5 microns. To give you an idea how small a 0.1 micron particle is, a 0.1 particle is on the upper end of the size of a virus. And even more visual is this. It takes 254,000 of them all in a straight line to make one inch. And another visual, the human hair is about 100 microns in diameter on average. So the human hair can be about 1,000 times the diameter of a weld fume particle. So we're talking about and looking at very, very small particles here. And a good rule of thumb for how much particulate is generated during the welding process is this. For every 1,000 pounds of weld wire used, 10 to 20 pounds of particulate can be generated. So if you run the math, for every one pound of weld wire used, which isn't very much, right, because how quickly can you burn through one pound of weld wire, for every one pound of weld wire used, about 25 to 50 million weld fume particles are generated. And that's a lot of particles. So what's in a weld fume? 